Just seeing the Scarlet Robin's beautiful little chest sitting out there makes me feel happy. I mean, you can't not be happy seeing little things like that in, in, your, in your environment. <laughs> that, you know, seeing those little birds coming back in and, and knowing that you're helping a, a species to survive is pretty exciting. And little Scarlet Robin's are, you know, they're quite pretty little things too, aren't they? We're really lucky in Australia to have such an amazing array of species, including some wonderful bird species like the Scarlet Robin. The Scarlet Robin is a small woodland bird of very distinct colour and is a flagship species for a whole suite of woodland birds that are under threat in New South Wales. Clearing of the landscape over a long period of time has really fragmented habitats for the Scarlet Robin and other birds and this makes it very difficult for it to move across the landscape. Another more recent threat has been the, the summer bushfires of 2019-20, which impacted a big section of their core habitat. The type of habitat that a scarlet robin actually really likes includes a good bushland setting, but with plenty of shrubs and plenty of dead timber on the ground. These sort of shrub layers are what gives the scarlet robin not only its food sources, but also its protection from a more aggressive species like the Karawong, which pose threats to the birds by directly pushing them out or, or predating upon them. We've had a lot of invasive species like cats and foxes move in, which can be a predator of, of small birds. You know, all these threats combined make extinction a real possibility for the scarlet robin. Although extinction can sound overwhelming and, and most of us sort of go about our day-to-day -day lives not really thinking about it, there's actually a lot we can do to help preserve the habitats and, and give these birds a real chance of survival. This is where the Save Our Scarlet Robin program comes in. The 10-year conservation program funded by the New South Wales Environmental Trust as part of the New South Wales Government's Saving Our Species program. The program's aims have been first and foremost to do on-ground works that include protecting remnant vegetation and planting new native vegetation to improve habitat. The program's area extends from Braidwood to Burra, Michelago and down to Delegate. It's a landscape scale project and through collective efforts we've managed to sign on 70 landholders covering almost 500 hectares. I have a property just out on the edge of uh, Braidwood, it's just over a thousand acres here. And when I first started managing this place, there were very few trees here. So I started planting trees for the shade, for protection to the, the landscape, for the animals and some shrubs and trees for those other smaller birds to be protected. Nothing lives in isolation. To have a, an ecosystem that's functioning is really important. So if, when I'm planting trees, I'm hoping that it's, yes, for the little birds that are happening, but it's also shade and shelter for, for the livestock, for the pasture. It's all, all encompassing. Having the Scarlet Robin project, it's adding that resilience to the farm. It's, so it's not just having it for small woodland birds, but it's helping me improve my overall management of the farm. Having any species disappear is a very, I, th I think, a sad situation, but especially little birds like the Scarlet Robin. I feel proud that I can be can help to contribute to their survival. No one can save a, a species on their own. It takes collective action at a landscape level, and this is why local land services recognise the need for partners. Community organisations like Landcare become critical in, in expanding a project like this. To protect woodland birds like the Scarlet Robin, it's a real joint effort. Upper Shoalhaven Landcare has partnered with the Scarlet Robin Project to help landholders identify local woodland bird species, the threats to those woodland bird species, and also to help identify the habitat requirements for the local birds. It's really important to get as many people on board as possible so you can connect up those fragmented landscapes and provide more movement for the woodland birds across those landscapes. For me it's really rewarding to be involved in a project like this because you see how excited people get when they, they know they're making a difference and they see these bird species um, come back to their land. They stop you in the street to tell you they've seen the scarlet robin or the gang gang. Initially we wanted to look at measures for safeguarding the, the banks of the, the creek and protecting the, the wildlife 
uh, around the creek. There were scarlet robins uh, around, but the issue is whether or not you know, there's sufficient habitat for them to really thrive. For us just to walk through and to know that you are providing future habitat and hopefully encouraging more things to come back is a, it's a beautiful feeling, it's just lovely. And we've had some um, unusual visitors too. So we've, we've had a gang gang cockatoos here which we haven't had before. It, it is great to be part of this, but we're part of a bigger community of a lot of people who are concerned about the scarlet robin and the biodiversity. We've seen the positive gains that working with landholders and community organisations like Landcare can have in the environment. But it's important to remember that the science underpins a lot of the advice and management actions we take. Science is extremely important as part of the Save Our Scarlet Robin project. It helps to provide a baseline of what sort of species might occur on a farm. It then allows us over time to go back once the landholders have done that protection work and see how our bird species have responded. That's really one of the key roles of, of the science of this project. We go back to the same sites over time to see how things change, both in terms of the birds that are there, but also have the trees that have, and shrubs that have been planted, have they actually survived? Are they providing habitat? The results of all of this woodland bird monitoring that we're doing will help measure the success of what we do on the ground down the track maybe in 10 years time to come back and see a scarlet robin or a flame robin or one of the many threatened woodland birds we're trying to look after come back to a site is, is the ultimate game. I think it would be really sad actually if we were if we were to let a species like the scarlet robin go extinct because extinction's forever but by relying on the science and working with our partners we are really giving the scarlet robin and other threatened species a fighting chance of survival.